Well, today I got something a little bit different. This is a stackable, I guess you call it, wash and dryer. I fixed a few wash and dryers over the years. I've never worked on one quite like this before, and it's making a horrible racket. I don't know if you'll be able to hear me over it once I turn it on. So that's why I wanted to talk before I scoot it out and kick it on, and you'll see what I mean. It's, it sounds like a thrashing machine. So I gotta dig into it and see if I can't find the cause of the noise and see if I can't fix it. That's today's project. assembly of that uh, washing machine. I forgot to video the disassembly of it. But here's the problem. That's why it was vibrating and going crazy. Is this spot weld broke. I don't know if that spot weld and a couple more causing the whole assembly to hang a little bit sideways and vibrate, make all kinds of racket. So, of course this thing is old. There's no way to get, get these parts new anymore, I don't suspect. But I'm not going to attempt to put it back together an old welder. I mean really old look at that thing. I'm gonna do a little spot welding but on this stuff here I actually might try to maybe just maybe just drill and bolt because it's such thin metal. So I can put me in maybe three bolts and then spot weld this piece here. That little heavy part. So if I can do that I can get this thing back working with really not costing me a dime. So uh, let's uh, get to drilling and beating and banging We'll see if this project will be successful. Okay, well here's the update. Of course, drilling through an old spot rivet can be difficult. So I've run a, I've used a small drill bit to get me a pilot hole first. And then I got me a quarter inch bit I'm gonna take through and uh, get my first bolt in it. Then I can work on these spots up here, get those drilled out. Okay, I've hit my first snag here. After looking at this a little closer, I realize I got a crack. And this is, a, this is the main support here. It supports all the weight. So I got a little hairline crack there. So it goes on the back side. So I gotta try to get creative with my welder. And try to weld this up and grind it back down. It's not gonna be very easy this thin, very thin metal. But I shall give it a try. See what we can come up with. Alright, well I don't proclaim to be a welder, but I think this will work. You can see I got some good penetration out starting to melt through on the, on the back side. And what I did, I had a big old a quarter inch piece of metal I laid on top of this and welded in around the bottom side, both top sides, around here. So I think I got it reinforced a lot better than what it was originally. So I think it'll stay put. And uh, now I just got to get it in position, weld it here. Drill a couple of holes, put in some more bolts, and we'll have we'll have uh, something that might work. Well, it ain't the prettiest thing, but it's nice and strong. It ain't going nowhere now. See my big quarter inch piece of metal I welded in there. Cause you got these big old strong half inch bolts that come up through that support that. And of course, I put me some primer on there, so nothing to rust. So I got that welded up. I put a drilled out that that spot well. Put that bolt in there re-welded that spot weld that broke out and these spot welds I drilled those out and put two new bolts in it. Grade 5 bolts, lock washers, lock nuts, all is good. And there's the plastic tub that, that goes on on top of it. Finish putting that together, take it over there to the mobile home, put it all back together and give it a test run. We'll just see if this is going to be successful or not. I think it will be. Well, in case you're wondering, this is what it looks like. You put it back in here. It sits on these big rubber springs, mounts. It sits and wiggles around. See here I welded all that up. Got it bolted in. I just got to fi finish hooking up my hoses and mount that big tub in there and a few other things. And I'll be able to plug it in and give it a little test run. And 
see if it works and see if it should be much quieter now. There's a pretty neat little outfit. You know, great for mobile homes, tight spots. It really, really looks in good shape. I don't know how old it is. It's an old Sears Kenmore. I think it is. I what I saw. Yep, old Sears Kenmore. Just don't know how old it is, but it's been around a while. Alright, let's turn some wrenches. Looky there, voila peanut butter. It's working. And check this out. I don't spin to see how the water comes out. And it's going to be much quieter than it was. That's not spin. There she goes. Check out the water. Spin, spin, spin. Slowly pumps it out. Now listen how quiet that is now. Get the rest of the water out. But just, just yesterday was making all kinds of racket. Put it all back together to be even farther. Yay, look at there. So it's fixed. And guess what? It didn't cost anything. Just a little bit of time. So we'll finish putting this all back together and now it'll be ready to go. Putting too hard. If I can fix it, you can fix it too. Don't give up on the stuff that breaks. Just take it apart. What you got to lose? So, alrighty. Thanks for watching. Have a great night.